My name is Brad Foltz, and I am the current uh, missionary director in charge of Honduras 100. What drew me to Honduras was the ability to build churches. God had called me to build churches. It's a building, but it's what God and the pastor of that local community can do with a building. Prior to building a church, many of these congregations were only meeting out under a tree on somebody's back porch, front or backyard, and they may or may not be there next week. But by having the opportunity to come in these small communities and build a church, a physical church building, suddenly gave that church credibility, whereas the community knew they were there to stay. One of the things we do is try to buy as many, much material from the local hardware stores as possible. That creates a stir in that community. What's going on down the street? So once that's done, then we come in uh, Pastor Johan will put in a foundation. Uh, that happens in a matter of three to four days. We build on Sunday for a purpose. Sunday is generally the, one of the only days that a general Honduran will have off. We do on Sunday, that way the church can be involved. The members can be involved in that church. So we have a lot of people coming around on Sunday. That's the day that probably the most gets done visually. The building gets stood up, generally the roof will be put on. And then within three or four days, they see all four walls put in. A new vibrant church in these communities then provided some new life. And even at the, the time of building these churches, you could see the communities coming around, uh, wanting to participate or just watching, uh, seeing what was going to happen, what was going on. You see the excitement that, of something new in the community. And, and as a result of that, that, uh, that brought about, uh, I think, improvement in, in those uh, stagnant communities as a means of growth because of the new church. I hope that the church will be a refuge for the community, for the people in the community, and I hope that they will be able to know that that's a place where they can come and be safe and know the love of Christ and know that people care about them and that Christ cares about them and that He loves them and that He came and died for them and I just hope that they'll come to know Him through, through this church. For me to be able to be a part of building the 100th church was really special. I don't think I realized how big of an accomplishment it was when I came on the trip and then when I was there and I was thinking about all the 100 churches that have been built before this and that this was kind of the capstone of the project. Um, I it kind of impacted me and I was like, wow, I was really part of something, something big. And um, that was really special for me. On a dedication service towards the end of the week, that was where the impact of the actual structure comes in. In this culture, you can have house churches, you can have areas where they'll meet under uh, just a pole building. And that community really doesn't take that church as serious is when they have four walls that surround them. So we see an increase of growth the next Sunday by at least 20%, and then God takes care of the rest.